Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and somebody is honking like hell outside. And today I'm going to do something that I think it was a while back since I did this and I'm going to do a two looks one palette and I'm going to do it with the It's Freaking Bats from Shroud and this was their first collab palette with Beauty Bean or Betty Jean. I will of course leave Betty Jean down in the description and also up here. I have done first impression a makeup look with this. I think I have used it three times. First impression, another video with it and I, because I did a Shroud week and then I used this in a palette bingo. And today it's time for two new looks. If you didn't know, the palette looks like this. I really love this handbook color and also this entrapa because apparently I have a big font of green right now. But today I'm going to do <laughs> two looks. I have said it so many times. I'm going to do a halo eye. I'm going to start with that at least. So I don't know what I will do for the second look, but... Yeah, if you just keep on watching you will see. So I will just prime my eyes and then we hop into the first look. So for my first look that is going to be my halo eye. I will use Dairy, this one, and a... A portion? Apparition? English is not my first language, I will blame that on everything. So I'm just going to use these two colors, I think, and I might put maybe zero in my inner corner because I just love that shade. So we start with Dairy, and this is kind of dark, and I hope it will work. I will try to like blend it out with a fluffier brush, but I will put it on here with a denser brush. Maybe I should take in another brush, so maybe I don't have to go in with that much at first, but I'm going to put it out here and as you see it's so freaking dark. But I really hope that I can blend it a little bit. But not like too much. And I think that in both of these looks it's going to be Okay, I'm going in with a fluffier brush. It's going to be a shimmer because this palette has five shimmers and I just want to use them because I love shroud shimmers and I haven't used... I think Sam is the only color that I haven't used in this so I will use that. I will try to use that in the second look. We will see how it will go. I don't want to have too sharp of a line, but at the same time, I want it pretty dark. I'm just going in. I don't have any color on this blending brush. I just want this to. I don't know if this helped, maybe a little bit. And this one I hope that the shimmer will be able to cover it. And then I'm going in here and if you have ever seen me doing a halo eye... It usually don't get that good all the time. This shade is so, so pigmented. I don't know if you can see how easy this was. And for doing... That is really good when doing a halo. That the shade is really pigmented. Because then I think it's easier to put the shade in here when it's so much more pigment. Because I think it's so hard when you're trying to pack on in the inner corner. And it isn't that pigmented because then it's hard to get like the intensity because I want it dark in here as out here. 
and I think that this is this is actually good so I will try to do somewhat the same on the other eye this is always a struggle for me when I'm doing my halo eyes so I just look straight onto the mirror maybe it helps them because I have two different eye shapes I guess that most of us have that I don't think the most of our eyes are symmetrical <laughs> so and already now it's like too far in <sighs> but I always feel it's a little bit harder to do the makeup on my left eye because I'm right-handed so it feels a little bit hard to do it on this eye because it's another angle to it but <laughs> this halo is so much smaller than this one but I think that the shimmer shade will go good to put on top of this matte shade I think I did a palping of this palette when I had my shroud week maybe I did I can't remember maybe I didn't okay so for the shimmer I'm going in with this and when I've swatched this it has looked amazing maybe I haven't used this either now it's this, this one and Sam okay now we will see and I'm not cutting this halo because I think this is going to be good on its own and it is oh. yes 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 does it feel it shifts in gold and I really like it and it feels like it's okay or it <laughs> feels good to put it over the dark shade so this make it so much easier going in with a little bit more here and then I'm just going in with a tiny bit of the dark shade tap the brush off and then I'm just putting it over And the same in here and this looks really good I, I'm liking this halo eye it feels like it was a while ago I did a halo it must be I think this looks really good I really do like it I really like this shimmer shade And I like how it looks on top of the dark shade and I like how the dark shade look on top of it and maybe that is what I like about halos it usually is not that hard to blend the shadows together and I think this is all I want to do with my lids actually I really 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 like this so I will fix my base, my brows, my under eyes. I think I just will go in with the exact same shadows and try to do like a halo under my eyes as well. So it will match. Put on a lipstick and then I come back with the finished first look. So this is the first look for my wash line. I took Amethyst Hour, I think it is, yeah, from Colourpop. I love this one. And for my lips, I took a lip toning from Kaleidos. This is Immersion. Love this one as well. And I can just say that I love this look. I think the shade that I have in my halo, the shimmer shade, is amazing. It has a little bit of gold to it. I don't think you can see it, but it looks so, so good. So this look, I have only used two shades. So this shimmer one and this one. And that is like what I love. Okay, I have some clothes here. 
and kick up. That is what I love with doing a halo eye. You like need two shades and it's done. I also actually took a third shade from Shroud. I have their shimmer single, so I took this Oracle and put in my inner corners just to have a little pop. Just something light. But yeah, this is the first look and I really really like it. I think this this matte one was so good to blend out and I'm just so happy with this look. I have nothing to complain about. So we will see what I will do in the next look but I will use Sam. That's all I know but I will see what I will do with Sam. I think I will figure something out. So if you want to see the second look just keep on watching. It is time for the second look and I've already primed my eyes so I think we just hop into it. And I'm going to do something super simple for this look as well. Mostly because I just want to try this and also you don't need to complicate things. So I'm only going to do use two shades, maybe three shades. We will see. <laughs> but my idea at least is to use Sam and Trappa. So Trappa in my crease and then Sam all over my lid. I might go in with Adams to deepen down my crease. Haven't decided that yet, so we will just have to wait and see. So I'm going to start with matte green shade. I love these kinds of shades. So I'm just taking this in my crease. And I don't want too much in the beginning. Or maybe I do. I don't know. And this was one of the shades like I really really hoped for when this collab was going to be when they announced the collab. Because this is like a crunchy cool green shade and that is what Beauty Bean is. She is crunchy and she is cool. And this shade is such a nice shade. Really love this. So I'm thinking something just like that and I actually think that I will go in and deepen down at least the outer part of the crease just to have some dimension to it. Is that the right thing to say? And I will go in with Adam's this dark matte green just a little bit to deepen down at least like out here so maybe not more than this these two shades are amazing together mm -mm -mm. so just like that I'm going to try to do the same on this side and maybe not the exact same Took it a little bit too high. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and then I'm going in with Sam on my whole lid. And I really hope that this will look good, but when I swatched it next to Trappa, it looked amazing. And I think that is a track. So okay, I think it would look so cool to take handbook, this one, and that was somewhat what I did in my first look, I think my first impression. It was a while ago since I did that. I'm just trying to blend this a little bit into my crease as well it's working good and I'm happy that I took the darker shade out here in the crease so a little bit more is happening but I actually think that I am like happy like this I'm just going in with 
my crease shade, the big the crease shade, the crease brush and just go over the crease a little bit and I think then when I do my under eyes and take a red dark lip to this I think this will look so good and it's now that I'm thinking do I want something a little bit darker like out here as well on the lid maybe if I go in with I was like, this is going to be a super easy look. Maybe not. I go in with Adams. This one. And just put it a little bit out there. I know from my... I think it was the other video I did with this. To put shimmers from this palette on top of each other. That looks really cool on this. This worked so good. So I really like this. So I'm going to fix my base, my brows, and do the under eyes. And do the look ready. Done. Do the look done. <laughs> Finish off this look. And then I come back and I'm going to give you a little review on this. I have used it four times now. Five times? I've done four videos on it. I think I've used it once. Some of the shadow when I haven't done a video. I'm not sure. But I think so. And I have used all the shades and uh, I'm going to do a little review on this in the end. So if you want to see my review and the finished look, just keep watching. I will be back in a sec. This is the finished look for my waterline. I used NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner Hot Dang. And on my lips I used Dahlia. I always want to say Delilah, but it's Dahlia from Kaleidos. And I love this look. I love this Sam shade and Trappa and I really like that I took Adams to put over here on the outer corner because it looks uh, so good. I think this might be the fa my favorite look and I think I have cat hair in my eye and I'm just so happy with this look. So into my little review with this palette I have all the other palettes that Shroud has released and I really do love them and this palette is hand no it's not hand pressed the other palettes from Shroud is hand pressed but this is machine pressed and I can't like I don't think it's anything special with this or this is working in another way than the others I think the shadows work as the hand pressed eyeshadow palettes. The only thing that I have noticed is I don't know if I can show you in handbook and Sam it looks like they have hard pan but they are not. I can still pick them up with a brush so it's not a problem. I don't know if that is because they are hand machine pressed. Oh my god. That is like that I don't know because none of the other shades that I have had tried from Shroud has looked like that but they aren't hard pan it just looks like it I still can pick them up with a brush the only thing that is the same as the other shadows they have a lot of kick up like a lot of kick up you're so aware of that if you have never used Shroud and you buy this palette it doesn't it's not because this is machine pressed that it has so much kick up. All matte shadows that I've tried from Shroud are the same. But I, I'm i not bothered by that at all. So yeah, I really like this palette. I think it's such a fun palette. And what I have understand, Shroud is going to keep... Sell this until people don't want to buy it anymore. So it is a limited edition palette, but it's still available. I don't know if it's might be a pre-order on it. I don't know. So yeah, I really like this palette. I'm really happy that Bertine did this. I think this, it's really is her in the palette and I am so happy that it's finally got to me. The only thing I wished it was a little bit bigger, but that is maybe a strange complaint, but yeah. I think it's really good if you like the color story. 
by it the shadows are the same quality and I really love that this dairy is really dark and really easy to work with and I think the f one thing I like the, the thing I like the most with this palette I think it is the shimmers the shimmers are amazing but also this trepa is amazing but this zero shade I love it and I love the handbook shade I love like all the shades so yeah, I think that was all for this video. I will leave Shroud's website down in the description. I will leave Betty Jean's channel down in the description. And I and she has been up here as well. And I also can leave all the videos that I have done with this. And I think they have been up here during this video. I don't know, but I think so. But yeah, I really like this palette. I have nothing to complain at, at all. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!